The roof of my school is about 75 feet wide by 110 feet long, which multiplied equals 8,250 square feet. But there's four classroom bays, so four times 8,250 equals, I can do this, 33,000 square feet of roof area, plus the gym and the office and the cafeteria. That's another 35,750 square feet, or uh, 68,750 square feet altogether. I forgot the portables. That's another 1,625 square feet each, times four equals 6,500. Add it to 68,750, that's, uh, hold on, 75,250 square feet. And that's just my school roof. Here's all the rooftops in my city. Here's all the rooftops in Bellevue. Here's Seattle. And all that surface area is catching a lot of water every time it rains. Sweet! Here's our little portable. Several years ago, we put in a 50-gallon rain barrel. We attached a hose to the bottom so that we could water our garden boxes. The roof surface area of our portable is 1,625 square feet. The annual precipitation in our area is about 50 inches per year. So, if we take 50 inches per year times 1,625 square feet, divided by 12 to get cubic feet, we discover that the roof on our one little portable collects about 6,770 cubic feet of rainwater every year. Multiply this number by 7.43 to convert cubic feet into gallons and we get 50,301 gallons. That's a thousand times more water than our 50 gallon rain barrel can hold. And it's not even very useful to us because our garden boxes don't need watering in the rainy season. They need watering in the summer. So we're hoping our little rain barrel has stored up enough to water our garden when it needs it. That's the problem. Because a garden hose will fill up a gallon bucket in 15 seconds, or four gallons in one minute, or 240 gallons in just one hour. With only a 50 gallon rain barrel, we are out of water before the summer even gets started. This is why you do math. Let's put in a bigger rain barrel. A cistern. Now we can harvest a lot more rainwater for our garden. Of course, our portable has an old roof with tar-based grit that keeps eroding off. So we don't want to use this water for our vegetable beds because that's food we're going to eat. But it's fine to use this kind of water for our flower beds. Are there other applications besides just irrigation for gardens and landscaping? Zeeholm in Issaquah, a new complex of sustainable homes for families, has 10 cisterns ranging in capacity from 1,000 to 1,800 gallons. This is enough rainwater to flush toilets and wash clothes all year round. Issaquah Fire Station number 73, certified LEED Platinum, the greenest fire station on the planet. It has an 8,700 gallon cistern used to flush toilets, wash trucks, and clean laundry. This system saves more than 55,000 gallons of water per year and provides nearly 96% of the station's water needs. Valley View Middle School was designed by Dykeman Architects in partnership with the Snohomish School District. Valley View Middle School harvests 100% of its rainwater. There are 32 cisterns on site catching rainwater from every single downspout all around the school. The cisterns hold about 1,000 gallons each or about 30,000 gallons altogether. Another 70,000 gallons can be stored in a big underground vault. The total system capacity is 100,000 gallons. It's used to flush all of the toilets and urinals in the building, which saves about $2,250 per year in water bills. What about our little portable? The future is already here. The Seed Collaborative is creating the world's first modular classroom that meets all 20 imperatives of the Living Building Challenge, the highest standard for green building in the world. One of the imperatives is to achieve net zero water. That means you harvest all of your own rainwater, you store it, you filter it, and you use it for everything, including your drinking water. Google it, Seed Collaborative. Within the next couple of decades, seeds will replace all portables. The first ones are already being built right here in King County. 